Hello, this is Manov32 and in this video I will show you how to change your UI from the normal Blizzard one to this clean and nice UI with the help of just few add-ons. I will have all the links in the description for the profiles and add-ons so everything will be a few clicks away from you. The add-ons that we are going to use are Bartender, Hydra UI and Minimap button. You can download them directly from the CurseForge app if you have it or their web page. If you like the video, please subscribe and give it a like. I appreciate all the support. Once you have the add-ons installed, we can start with Bartender and disabling the Reputation, HP and Blizzard art bars. Then I will unlock all the bars so I can edit them to my liking. I will use bars 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you need more bars, you can always enable them and use them as you wish. For bars 1, 5 and 6, I do 4 rolls, adding between minus 1 and 0, and the scale can be anywhere from 0 0.65 to 0 0.80. Usually I put these 3 bars in the middle lowest part of my screen. If you don't like the positioning or you want to be more precise, you can use the positioning tab and fine tune everything. Depending on the character that you play, you may need the pet bar. If you play a character that doesn't have a pet, you can just disable it. But in all cases, I usually add it on top of my spells. The next step is to decrease the size of the back bar and the micro menu and move them in the down right corner and then I can arrange my two additional bars. Usually I use these two bars for my professions, food, buffs, flying mounts and everything that is not essential to combat for me. You can arrange these two bars in any way that you want. There is a lot of possibilities. Sometimes I do them in two rows on top of the back bar and the micro menu and sometimes I move them on both sides of my spells. It doesn't really matter, I think with both ways you have a really clean view of everything. Now it's time to set up the Hydra UI add-on. To do so we need to write in chat slash HUI and press enter. We will see the settings window. I don't use the action bar so I'm not gonna show it to you. In hours we will enable the hours model and disable the display hours. I don't use chat, colors, data text, you can edit them as you wish. In experience we can enable all the things that we want to see on the experience bar. I haven't done many things in general. Maybe I just changed the font size of some things, but this is really a preference and I disabled everything in inventory. You can see my sizes for the map and now you're gonna see the configuration of my nameplates. The 
Standard nameplates have just the percentage of the health, but they don't have the amount. This is how we can add the amount of the health on all mobs. And this is the configuration of my unit frames. I haven't done as well a lot of changes, but if you want to do something or change some some texture or anything, feel free to do it. To be able to move everything, you need to write slash hui move and then you're gonna be able to rearrange all the models that the add-on have in your liking if you double click on any of the boxes you're gonna be able to fine tune it Once you're done, you can write slash HUI move and you're gonna exit the menu. Oh, and I forgot. I like the minimap down. As well, I'm having the experience a little bit under the end of the screen because I have another add-on there. But if you want to have it on top, you can have it there. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.